welcome back to my channel so today i have another makeup video makeup tutorial it's very dramatic very out there and um i know i haven't filmed a video in a really long time and i might have like a new location and everything but i explained that everything I, I explained all of this um in a vlog that i just recently uploaded if you want to go watch it and you want to like know why i've been gone for quite a bit and everything i explain all of that in my vlog so i'll link it down below and you can go watch that um but aside from that i really don't have that much to say aside from it's a really glittery gold look with a bit a hint of green very dramatic lashes dramatic makeup type of thing paired with a nude lipstick and i really like how it turned out i hope you guys like it too and without further ado let's just go ahead and get started hi guys i have missed you so um, without rambling on too much, I'm going to just go ahead and get started. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going for. I'm just winging it. I'm kind of chatting you through because I haven't done a video in a really, really long time. So I just want to chat with you guys and do this now. To prime my skin, I've already put some of this um, in the morning when I did my skin, but I just want to prime it and just hydrate a little bit more. It's the Embrelise Le Creme Concentre. It's like, it's this one. Okay, so I want to start with my eyes today, I think. I would normally start with my skin, but I want to start with my eyes today. So, okay, I've zoomed you in a little bit for my eyes, and now I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. Right now, I'm going to use the um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 05. I actually don't know what shade this is, but I think it's the lightest one. I think it's probably like fair or something. So now that I've done that, I'm going to grab the NYX uh, Highlight and Contour Palette, this one right here, and I'm going to use a very flat brush and use this shade right here. So I'm just going to set the concealer and brighten a tiny bit my eyelid area. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Dare to Create 39A Eyeshadow Palette. Now, this was like a holiday collection, but I love this palette anyway. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to use the shade right here as a transition shade and then I'm going to and then I'm just going to blend it on the outer corners first. I want to go for a kind of it's pretty simple, I think. I'm not going out anywhere, I just want to play around with makeup a bit. Next, I'm going to grab the third shade right here and I'm going to apply it. I'm going to apply this a little bit lower than the one I put before and that's just going to give it like a lot more depth and definition and I'm just going to blend that out as well just everywhere. Now what am I going to do? Like this could be the base for absolutely everything. Do I want to go for greenish gold? Let's do some greenish goldish tones. Now I'm just going to use one of these three shades. It depends. I'm just going to try to like switch between them and I know I have like this brush, it's dirty, I'm going to wash my brushes today but I just want to use the same brown, it's in the same brownie shade so it's fine. I think I'm going to grab the one at the very very end first and just apply that at the very end right here. Doesn't matter if you go way too like out, it's fine, we're going to clean it up, that's why I did my eyes first. Then next out of the three that I showed you, I'm going to go with the very first one. Now that we've put the brown down first, we're going to head into the greens and I'm going to use this one first um, to try to kind of do a, like a transition thing again and then this one. I'm going to set that down here. I mean the brown first so I could blend the green out with the brown. Now you can start blending this a bit. Don't blend it too much otherwise your colors are just going to go muddy and disgusting. I just want to try to blend it as softly as possible. Grab that brush with the dark browns that we put at the very edge and just blend the corners. I'm going to go back in with the first transition shade that I put out and I'm just gonna apply it at the very top of this one to just try to blend out the browns a little bit more but we're still gonna like erase this chunk so never mind about that otherwise you're good to go. I'm going to grab like kind of this tapered blending brush and I'm going to dip into the green and just make sure it is packed 
out here because this is where I want to concentrate the green. I'm going to erase all of this afterwards just because of the messy blending, really. Because we're doing our eyes first. If I was doing my skin first, I would have been much more careful, but it's pointless right now, so. I'm going to dip a flat synthetic brush into here. I picked the product up here and then I'm going to wet the brush with a little bit of setting spray. This is just an e.l.f. setting spray. And I'm going to just pack it here. It's kind of like a rustic antique gold type of eye. Okay, I'm slightly carving my crease. And it's going to blend into that green. Now that I dipped into this one right here, I'm going to dip into this green a tiny bit. I just put my finger into the black. Great. I'm going to dip my brush a tiny bit and just apply at the very corner here to have some slight like ombre effect between the green and the rustic gold. Just a tiny bit. Like right now it's very messy and we'll blend it out. Don't you worry. Now I'm going to grab the tapered blending brush again and dip into that light green first and just tap it right over here at the very nook of my crease next i'm going to use this side to tap into this one and then this one and the darker it gets the closer to the lash line it's going to be so then this is going to be at the very bottom like right here right here. Next I'm going to dip into that black and just apply at the very corner of my eye, right here. I'm being very, very messy today because I just playing around. Now I'm going to clean up this mess under my eyes using the simple regeneration age resisting cleansing wipes. I'm going to use these, remove all of this fallout because it looks insane. Now I'm going to grab the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. It's just the regular black one. It looks like this. As for glitter, I'm actually going to use a little bit of glitter. I'm going to use the Bisu Glitter in the shade 19 and it's like a regular rustic gold, no like holographic um, iridescent kind of look. It's just a regular one. To apply this glitter, I'm going to use the Too Faced Glitter Glue and it's the Glitter Shadow Primer. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and just use a flat concealer brush and just dip it into the um, glitter glue like that and just kind of like roughly put it where I want the glitter to be first. I'm going to go on top of it with the liner. And then I'm going to dip once more into the glitter glue and then dip it directly onto the glitter and just press it onto the eye. And I'm going to remove all the glitter from my face because this is the hardest thing to do, especially when you've already primed your skin. Uh, the glitter is like this. I'm just going to slightly run over it with the liner so it still is crisp as we want it to be. Okay, so now I'm going to curl my eyelashes make sure that they're very curled because i want to apply some false lashes now before i apply the mascara i'm going to tight line my eyes with the estee lauder um black liner tight line. and then for mascaras per usual i have not changed this is one of my favorite mascaras it's the um maybelline lash sensational waterproof mascara and i'm just Catching the lashes from root to tip. Right, so now I have zoomed you out and I'm ready to apply the rest of my face. So once more, I'm going to... Oh God, I have glitter everywhere. This is exactly why you do glitter before you do the rest of your makeup because otherwise the, 
Bee Glitch would be all over your face makeup. So I'm going to prime my skin again with a little bit of that primer, the Amber Elise Primer. And now for foundation, I'm going to use the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation in the shade 103 True Ivory. And just put one pump there. Fuck. And then I'm going to mix it with the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation right here. I'll link everything in the description box down below, um, just in case you're curious and you want to purchase the items yourself, so you know like where to get them, at least in the UK. I'm just going to put it all over my face. I will blend it out first with a foundation brush, a blending brush, yeah that's what they're called. Just blend it a bit, and as you see it's like not crazy full coverage. It's just the right amount of coverage for the rest of my face and then wherever I have spots or scars or redness, I will conceal them. Okay, so now again for concealer, I'm going to use the same concealer that I used for my lids, I'm going to apply it here, a tiny bit here, and on my chin. And then I'm just going to blend it all out with a sponge. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer right there. So I have a tiny bit more of full coverage, but just not too much. Next, I'm going to grab the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. It's in the shade Fair Neutral, Fair Light, Fairly Light Neutral. Jesus, I can't believe I forgot the shade name. Anyways, I'm just going to grab a bit and then just apply it over the places where I feel like I need a bit more coverage. And then I'm going to blend this with the foundation brush, blending brush that I use. Next, I'm going to set my whole face and like including under my eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just apply the most powder around the areas I concealed and the bottom of my chin because I tend to lean my face there. I'm going to bronze the fuck out of my face. It looks really, really pale on camera. I don't know why. I'll try to sort that out. Anyways, I'm going to bronze my skin. See, like, even this is looking up like a bit white. I need to fix this. I'm going to my hair and just. Like, I don't know. I think it's just. Next, I'm going to contour with the. NYX Highlighting Contour Pro Palette, and I'm going to use this shade right here, right here. Now to contour my nose, I actually really like to tilt my head down and just kind of like, and just kind of like drop it where I want the lines to go, the contour lines, and then just slightly like put it on my tip. That sounds so wrong. The tip of my nose and just start blending it out. I don't know if this has made it any better. I hope you can, I feel like I don't look as pale anymore because I look so pale. We'll see. Next, I'm going to go in with the same shade that I used to set my lid, this shade right here, and the same brush that I used to contour, just tap it in a bit. And then just highlight the bridge of my nose right here, and I'm going to use that to blend it out on the sides of my nose. Next for blush, I'm going to use MAC Blush uh, in the shade Peaches. I'm just going to grab that with like, it's actually a highlighter brush this one by the brand Artiste, but it's just kind of like a tapered brush and I like using this for blush. And then as for highlight, I'm going to use the same highlight I always use. I'm going to use the NYX Strobe Genius Palette. It's all busted and well loved. And I'm going to use the shade that I obviously hit pan on. And then just highlight my cheekbones. Now I'm going to top off the highlight with this shade right here. Just a slight bit, just hit a tiny bit at the highest points of my 
Okay. Then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. Now I'm going to move on to eyebrows and I'm going to use the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade 04 Espresso. And then with an... And then with an angled brush, I'm just going to do my eyebrows. Now I know my eyebrows are a bit messy right now. I'm, I was trying to grow them out. I'm about to do my eyebrows. Um, to, I was trying to grow them out so I could see their shape again and then try to see how much arch I could get again because all of my, the, like my arch is non-existent right here, the one that I need. And then here it's slightly there but still missing a couple of hairs so I've let it grow out for quite a bit so I'm just going to tame my brows now. And now for eyebrow gel, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. And I'm just going to apply it onto my brows. And I think this is my favorite um, eyebrow gel at the moment because I cannot stop using it. This eyebrow gel, you probably already know, but it has um, fibers that make your eyebrows look thicker and like real hairs. So I really like it because it gives that effect and it has a slight color so even when you're um, if you're missing product somewhere like right here I can just apply and just comb it through and you have a nice full brow. Now for lashes today I'm going to use the Valor Lashes, um, the Fluff and Thick Collection ones in Fluff and Cool. And they look like this and I'm just going to apply them. If you want me to show you how to apply like the lashes for beginners, tell me in the comments down below. Okay, I'm just going to apply this off camera and then I'll come right back to do my lips. Okay, so now I've put my lashes on and now I want to do my under eye. And first I'm going to line my waterline with the same Estee Lauder um, black. I'm going to use the lightest transition shade and just apply at the very beginning right here. Smoke my lower lash line out. And just drop a tiny bit down here because it's the lightest one. Next, I'm going to grab the brown at the very um, right end of the palette and just smoke it out a tiny bit more with that brown. And then with an angled brush, I'm going to dip into the darkest brown that we used and just like really, really close to the lash line. Be careful because it's gonna go all over my face if I rub it too hard. Okay, now, and now to be ultra careful, I'm going to grab the black and really tap out the excess and then just apply it really close, almost on my waterline. And just drag it in about three quarters of the way, like that. And then grab your dark brown and go over it a tiny bit with that dark, dark brown just to blend it out. And then with the same flat brush that we use, just blend it out a bit more. And now some mascara on the lower lashes. And make them large and voluminous so you can see them with all the black and then for lips i'm just going to apply the nyx lip lingerie liquid lipstick in the shade satin ribbon i'm going to apply that all over my lips And then I'm going to go over it with the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Gloss in the shade Ice Queen. This is from her advent calendar, but you can use any clear gloss with sparkles, any clear gloss would do. Um, the Buxom by um, Dominique shade by Buxom, that's, that's basically the equivalent, so you could use that. And I have one last spritz of the finishing spray. And there we go, there we have it. This is the finished look. I was just playing around with makeup. I wanted to film it and see how um, it went. I just wanted to play and yeah, I really hope you like this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!